Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Croatia, which I am in a good mood this time because as I was doing some thinking about, well, what are we going to do in this episode? Because the last time, well, you kind of took Branicevo by accident in the sense of it's Croatian territory and not Serbian, but then again we plan on diplomatically annexing Serbia and Montenegro soon, and subsequently we plan on fighting a war against uh, Venice, which the only way we can do that is to wait for France to, um, well, get busy with somebody else, particularly their historic rival, England. But, however, I just thought of something else of regarding the goals here for a South Slavic um, kingdom such as Croatia, but not just for Croats, but for Bosnians, Serbs, Albanians, Bulgarians, and possibly even Slovenian too. And the part of the reason I say that, the Age of Reformation, I mean, yes, we're converting provinces and we'll continue to do so. And we will fully embrace the humanist um, idea group because it's in progress. And the third and foremost is unified culture which is to own all provinces of my culture group. So owns all South Slavic provinces. In other words, um, look at the culture here. As you could say, um, there we go. You could say Croatian, Bosnian, Serbian, Albanian, Bulgarian, even Slovene up in the northwest of us. Now, uh, some of you may be wondering, how on earth are you going to get Bulgaria? It's controlled by the Ottoman Empire, and it's been with the Empire for a long time. Well, there's some interesting thing as I was looking at the, uh, the provinces of the area I control, especially when we diplomatically annex Serbia, which seems to be the key factor for helping Croatia out on its development and as well as economy coming from the Kosovo gold mine and the increasing further strength of our trade node in Ragusa. I like say our as if I'm the owner of it, which I am, but we'll get the trade power up even more soon. Now what about the Bulgarian? In areas like Ored and Skopje, I've noticed that this is considered one of the core provinces of Bulgaria. And this country may be created from the said province, or appears a new country. So I just thought, well, this is why we're calling the 1500s the Yugoslav century or the Croatian century, whatever you want to interpret it as, because of the circumstances of this playthrough that I'm trying to do here. But when we diplomatically annex Serbia, the areas of northern Macedonia will be released as a subject, which will be Bulgaria, and. Just like what we're gonna, we plan on doing with Albania, and, and that's, you know, get Dorazo from Venice and release Albania as a subject. Get those two Albanian provinces from the Ottomans by negotiating them, by using up the favors to return the core provinces, as we do not have any of our core provinces yet. But, hmm. So yes, that's uh, that's how we got you know Macedonia. So northern Macedonia. Um, that's how we got them through using the favors on the arms, which currently it's plus forty one for current favors right now. But even though our relations is a bit, uh, you know, a bit precarious here, as they want some uh, provinces back naturally. But getting Serbia and Montenegro back, that's one thing. Creating Albania and then diplomatically annex them too. Subsequently, at the next on the list, Bulgaria will be created from there. And then the provinces here, yeah, yeah. It's a big land, this Bulgaria. In which will no doubt continue to negotiate with the Ottomans. With the favors to return all the core provinces to. Albania, 
and Bulgaria in the future. With, but the only way to do that is to continue to sustain a friendly relationship with this alliance. In other words, we will never break this alliance. Should there ever be a day where the Ottomans decide to end our alliance, then that would be the time to fight back. But in order to fight against them, well, taking Albania and Bulgaria peacefully, so to speak, this would slightly weaken the Ottomans' um, power base of at least the manpower, even though most of it come from Greece, their capital, Constantinople, the highest developed city in the world, and parts of Anatolia. And a wee bit of Crimea and, and the Pontic Steppe. But nonetheless. And in a, in a far were to fight the uh, Ottomans in the future, then that would mean Poland is going to be our new best friend. Even though our relations with Austria lately has soured a little. But the total yearly change will go up anyhow. Because rejected alliance, clear war, aggressive expansion, which we don't plan on fighting any wars, but, but we do have big plans. Both politically and domestically. <sighs> Took a drink of that. Now, domestically, I was on the verge of beginning to ignore the Croatian missions because I felt like I've done, done enough of it. Actually, look again. This mission. Gosti. Guests. Which is the same meaning. Gosti is guests in the Croatian language. Trust me, I know Croatian for about, um, as well as related Bosnian and Serbian, for about, oh, 13 years now. I've known the language for about 13 years. Not fluent, eight, but 70% of it. Anyways, we should make Croatia a welcoming place for new arrivals, for an influx of labor and manpower can only, can only be a benefit to the state. Under direct authority of the crown, these Gosti will serve us well. Yes, we own out of Slavonia, but I have neglected on the development um, because we were more precarious. We were more um, into, um, you know, just expanding. Just expand, 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 and all that. And our army is stronger than before, but until the manpower is fully recovered, now I know when to use that time for it. All we need is to get three provinces of Slavonia up to ten. Three out of four. The most developed is Bielovar. Slavonia itself all, all it needs is one. And then we'll start working on Verazdin. Once you get all three of these to ten. This one's the least developed, so don't bother yet. And because of that, Croatia gets this. Until the end of this playthrough. Reduce development cost. That means I could start encouraging development in other areas like Dalmatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina and the like. Heck, maybe more of Dubrovnik. But but Zagreb, however, has now has slightly more developed than uh, Dubrovnik. Belgrade's only catching up. This nearly Slovenian area that we took has development of 10. So we have reduced development. And look where this will lead to renovate Zagreb. Zagreb has fallen at dec decline in recent years. Makes you think so. And it is much need of renovation. We must devote the resources of the state to improving our historic capital. To do that, we'll complete this mission first above. And building slots remaining less than one because I already used up all the building slots but here's the big reward here base tax uh, gain two base tax base production and manpower in Zagreb making it the total of 22 development and the, and the big one is to create a level two center of trade in Zagreb Zagreb will become a market town 
This does not exist currently. Whereas here, in a natural harbor of Rijeka, for example, that's more trade power. Belgrade over here is an emporium, which is tax modified, but Dubrovnik down here is also the where the trade node is. That would be grand. It's a great, it's a great boon for the trade power of, of Ragusa. Because currently, right now, we only hold 18%. We're tied with Venice, only because our light ships are inactive, because we just refitted them to become caravels. Caravels. So, once they're at 100%, they shall be set sail again. So, I think we should focus on development. And I'm sure we'll get these in the future. So, let's not focus on ideas right now. As we are quite ahead of time and we don't have enough power to reach those in years time but we can use some of them right now for the development now Slavonia itself I'm gonna issue an edict oh by the way it's close to being not too close to being prosperous but it would have even more local development cost reduction but it can happen if stability is positive and no devastation but there is no stability right now, so I guess we'll have to do it our way then. So, here it is. Encourage development. There's your local development cost reduction. For 12 months. That's all I need. Just give me 12 months. Yeah, some of that state income yeah, just increased. Now, Belova. Slavonia. So, right now it'll cost you 36. Okay, it's 10 here. Yellow one. Ten. Now, Vrazden. Cost you 30. Also, bear in mind, if you're wondering what is what, we'll go back to the other one. It's for maximum manpower, for the base manpower. And local goods produced here. We're talking about this, and that's for land force limit. For grain. This is livestock, which is for supply limit modifier. Verazdin, cloth. Especially cloth. Very important trade good. In fact, gotta remind yourself, you know, this area is really ripe for development, especially Belgrade, but Bosnia Herzegovina will be uh, again. I think for the next few years, we should focus on developing um, Croatia and Bosnia Herzegovina. I'm saying that in modern border sense, as in here and there. And eventually, when Serbia comes to Croatia, we get the gold, even though it increases a bit of inflation just for owning a gold mine. And whatnot. And we have this territory here, which produces wine. <laughs> Naval force limit there. And Montenegro has one too, but again, one day be part of Croatia. And since we plan on, you know, getting Albania in the future, so. Bunch of wool and some salt. Now, Bulgaria, the big prize in the future now, now we've set. Copper production. Local recruitment time. The iron here, which I saw in the. Slovene territories, irons, local construction, production. Lots of grain in Bulgaria, some cloth, bit of fish, that's for the sailors modifying. None of that, and some salt, just defensiveness. Even though, as I said, most of the Balkans is not a very well developed area compared to the rest of Europe.
And yet they say that in some areas, like parts of Germany, Wales, um, some areas of um, Iberia, the Iberian Peninsula, and the Balkans are the poorest places of Europe. But however, the further up you go, well, it's not quite developed because it's a lot of open country. Here's because terrain varies. So, it's time for Croatia to start developing itself. Which is something we never really bothered because we were in a very intensive conquest mood and conversions and all that. So yeah, it's about time we start developing. Which, of course, we have nine every month. So every few months, we will continue to develop our Verazden. Especially on the manpower. Especially the manpower. Not so much here, despite the good... ...the things that goes on here. And you see, already used up all the buildings. That's why we will renovate Zagreb as well. But in the meantime, we will also make a bit of money. 241. Slight income due to the development that we just did. And it's not going to be two years' time where we'll have another summon diet and figure out what to do from there. And boy, what I would do to seize the land from them because everybody's very loyal. Which is just a, you know, break up. No, no, no. I mean, having more, a little more land to myself and having less of their land. It's due to these factors here. What? I don't know. It's what it says on the chart anyhow. But it changes over time, so don't even think about it. Okay, so... That's our plan. Don't even think about doing that. Huh. But the Blasphemy Act... Uh, wouldn't worry too much about missionary strength. Ours is good enough. It'll take a while, but we'll get there. And once we're done with the development of Slavonia, then I'll start saving it up to get these ideas done. Especially the improved relations. When we get there, just to keep our alliance with the Ottomans alive. Alive long enough for me to get Albania. And then the big one, Bulgaria. As a subject to... Practically enlarged Croatia, the size of Yugoslavia, and in addition to Albania. And then eventually Bulgaria would join uh, Croatia far later in this century, I would think. And hopefully by then we will have our golden age, our golden era for all of this. Or alternatively, join a reformation, but based on our geographical positioning, Croatia and where the um, Protestants are, I would say unlikely. Well, you'll probably underestimate that. Bohemia is the home of the Hussites. being converted. We'll worry about it later. Much, much later. And also, some of you may be wondering, another part of the mission, now, one more thing before we finally get this game moving. They expel the Italians, uh, which we own 18 out of 20, which we'll get more, no doubt, in the Balkans. And all provinces of the Balkans region that the owners must not be Latin. Looking at you, Venice. Um, and also not to be Dalmatian, which we ain't. Now, this blue area here is the Balkans. Venice lives in Dorazo, Corfu, Crete, Negrobante, and Nasca. 
Those are the only areas that remain in the Balkans that Venice has a presence there. And once they're gone, either by us or the Ottomans, as highlighted here, well, ignore the uh, Euboea and Naxos, um, using the old names out of Abbott. When these three areas fall, then uh, our mission will be complete. And the reward of that is get Balkan liberators till the end of this playthrough. R more years of separatism reduced. <laughs> Which is also beneficial for us as we already have a year's separatism reduction to our humanist ideas. But gains permanent claim in all the Balkans region. Which means you have to withstand Turks and to own 30 out of 18 of the Balkans. But we'll have a permanent claim of the entirety of the Balkan region. Which does include Greece and Crete. It would be a bit far-fetched, would you think, people? A Croatian Balkans, an entirety of it. <laughs> Greater Yugoslavia, one would think. But still. I mean, while the idea of Yugoslavism seems anachronistic in this game's timeline, but it seems like, well, we're trying to adopt the early idea, even though we can't use that name. Unless you're using whatever mod is out there that allows the existence of King Yugoslav. But you get the point. Right now, that's my new major goal this series. Um, so the goals have changed over time in this series. Although I would still have the intention to enter into Italy, but at the same time, unite all the South Slavic cultures, which includes Albanians and Bulgarians. And eventually we've got to fight Austria to take the other two Slovenian territories. And a bit of that as well, just uh, denied um, Austria having a coast. So, focus on here and now. Now, we'll finally go. Hmm. Just an interesting idea. It's like, yeah, taking Durazo is one thing, and another is well, regarding Corfu and Crete, you know, there is a core province in Corfu, which is, can be released. Same for Crete. What if, when we uh, fight this war, in addition to Albania, Corfu and Crete. And don't forget Bulgaria too, so. That's a lot of vassals, but it'll be too many relations, and... Influenza spread spread to Dubrovnik. How should we handle this growing epidemic? Oh damn. Dubrovnik, Herzegovina, whom it's split. For ten years. Well quarantine the Our general improved his siege skill. Good. That's what drilling armies is for. And if you recall, now he's about as good as I am, in a way. He's got better fire, even though there is no fire here, but one day when we get to Let me show you militarily. It's not going to be until level 12 we'll start having musketeers. Yes, us Easterners, Eastern cultures, which is what Croatia belongs to, we have yet to use gunpowder weaponry. As a widespread use. So I'm saving the uh, power, all of these, to at least 200.
And we mentioned about you think you should develop Bosnia at school. I had this saved a long ago. Heck. Anyways. So six, eight, nine. Whom is the most developed? Donia Krai, which is technically part of state of Croatia rather than Bosnia. But in modern sense, it's part of Bosnia Herzegovina today is Donia Krai. Even though it's an antiquated name back like then. I don't think it's used today. Yeah, I could see developing Bosnia. Yeah. And as for the money, well, we're not making it as much because of the state maintenance as well as refitting the, uh, the Navy. Yeah, that's why. It's the ducats each month for refitting those ships and then soon we'll have all that trade power again. And uh, nobility too. Don't forget about that. It had a land maintenance reduction. Now it went up again. Army maintenance. Well, it'll change over time. <sighs> it's something else in my mind. I'm sure in future, like, so the only provinces I'm interested in taking is Durazo, Istria, because that's part of this area and part of modern day Croatia would love to pillage Venezia but that's too aggressive would love to pillage Rome again as we are rivals with the papal states or we still have these claims or Istria and all that or beat up on Hungary one more time when the truce is expired and I will make damn sure when we fight against Austria to take these arrows, we're gonna pillage them too. Pillage anyone. To help Zagreb to be a developed city that'll be right up on the level of the cities of Rome, Vienna, Praha, Lubeck. Well, we're almost to Lubeck's level. London, Paris. But there ain't no way you can beat Constantinople, the highest developed city in the world. Well, Cairo may have a run on its money. Heck, even old Tunis, where ancient Carthage used to lay, um, that's where it used to be developed. Toledo. Heck, Cordoba used to be a well-developed city during the during the earlier ages, but not now. And soon Zagreb will be up in the levels of most of the European major cities. <sighs> Although I mentioned about stability, and you know it would make. Slavonia prosperous. How prosperous is Croatia? Not yet. I think we need that stability now. Oh, oh excuse me, I forget. But it would help with that national tax modifier, but I think we'll get it. Because. Okay. Here we go. What is this privateer? Because I've noticed the Ottomans are doing it. Steal trade power from other nations. In a trade node. I see. Just for example. I'm not using that right now. Result in a loss. Profit. Ah, okay. And compared to... Compared to that same. So you're off to there. And protect the trade here in Ragusa. We won't make much of a profit here, but it adds more trade power. Because Venice is taking a lead. Actually, we're tied. Well, actually, the trade power is 
96 point removal. That's what I, oh, yeah. More than that. We can change that. But I'm keeping these galleys maintained. Well, maybe not. I mean, when you do that, the mothball, the ships would reduce to 35 and it'll take you seven months. Although we're not quite ready for war. And that support the air thing for Poland, I'm not giving up on that. Even though it's likely going to be this one. That's the true air. Austria gave up on it. Not Croatia though. And don't forget all that advisory maintenance that I have. And a missionary that were Poland has agreed to share the maps of Egypt uh, with France, who learned some provinces. The prestige has been transferred from France to Poland. Hmm. They can only go to war against either Burgundy or England. If France goes to war against England, which it would be a great opportunity right now. Well, once they do that, then this would be the great opportunity to attack Venice for Durazzo. <laughs> but for now, it's development time. While we will continuously drill the army. Just to keep increasing the army professionalism. Which I admit that doing that was a necessity. But every little bit helps. And another reason why I keep drilling the army. State firearm regiments. Got to have 20% of it. The only drawback is increased land maintenance, but army drill gain modifier even more, and Croatia will get elite regiments till the end of the game. But that's but it says until revoked, which means you can get rid of it at any time, unlike some of these. Religious civil disorder for uh, Verdun. Eradicate the heretics and bring peace. Religious regiments and tolerant society over there. Oh dear. Reformation era. You know. And keep in mind, our ally, the Ottomans, have. Uh, okay, they're at peace now. They were at war earlier, helping out one of their allies. Yeah, they have it against us. But well, so does Montenegro. Venice. Kind of Mamluk. Used to be friends with Caraman. What happened? Oh, I see. Basically, the only other country that can stand up toe to toe with the Ottomans is the Mamluks. But allying with the Mamluks is highly unlikely if we were to stand up against the Ottomans. Which that time will come when we get Albania and Bulgaria later this century. But it's something that would be nice to have. End of religious turmoil. Gain one stability. 
Of course. Venice is always up to no good. New monarch. So our diplomat is returning from Poland. After all that. Could try to support air again. And it's 10 right now. And where is he's an old man? Well, check it. It's for starters. May never know if we put a Croatian in the throne of Poland. Protestantism entrenched. With Protestantism taken over in more and more Catholic countries, there are fewer people who observe Lent. Without the 40 days, when any proper Catholic cannot eat meat until and is forced to eat fish, the demand of fish is plummeting. The price of fish is reduced until the end of the game. Is that for them? We own a bit of fish. Protestants don't eat fish. Oh, it does. Base price and this is the current price because the Protestants don't eat fish. <laughs> well then okay remember Vrazden so. use that military power here it is and I kind of want to develop Zagreb a little more especially the manpower just severely lacking Keep in mind, you don't have that edict to... You get the idea. So, it's a slight waste of what you just did, but because that's for development cost. So there you have it. And now, the big one. It's 17 Rhino, and we did say we want Zagreb to be up in that level. So now it's 46. Um, instead of whatever it was. Really? So, 37 of this encouraged development. Or it's less there. Ah, cloth. Cloth pond. So, any, any place that is cloth, well, you should definitely develop it. Wonder what that'd be like. This is just this once, alright? I'm actually gonna use it all up just one more time with this. You know that hurts our income a little bit, but that's forty one. Yeah, let's just use all up the powers just one more time. Now it's 22 in a capital. Oh, my bad. Um, well, if we can use up the building slot for... Um, aha! Courthouse. I mean, sure it'll take care of that. Or either that or um, a barracks for local manpower, which is something that's severely lacking in Croatia. But what's better? I mean, this is our capital state. And we need some of that income again. We can wait a year. Because we're not going to be doing any much, anyhow. So, 22. So. Aha! It doesn't matter. Any development is good development for what you just did. Province governing cost reduction. And state maintenance.
only we have manufacturing, which we don't have the technology for that yet. But be willing. Yeah, screw it. Because got to do something with that money anyhow. And as the chorus will be built, then here you go. So the current development is 22. As I said, it's right up in the level with some of the major cities of Europe. So to speak. Heck, it's right up in Krakow. So well, then here you go. <laughs> and now it's a level 2 center of trade here. Look at it now. 28 development. Get it up to 30 and you get another building slot, which I would likely build a barracks there just for manpower reasons. So, yeah. And I'll be sure to start developing the rest of the countryside of Croatia proper. Rijeka, Lika, Donja Kraj. has been improved 14 times and now with a market town that also reduces the cost to continued development of Zagreb now all you need is 1000 gold to make it a world trade center and it's got to have 30 development well there you have it The only other place that's a level 3 is is in Venezia. And pretty close for Constantinople, and even though it has a few other things that goes along with it. Just trying to think, is there any other level 3 areas of the known world? 2 in Tunis. Lubeck is two. I don't think so. Try to strengthen over there. What about old Novgorod? No, it's. Yeah, we just encourage developing Slavonia. And Croatia. So we need to start developing the whole country during peacetime. Knowing that we're, we'll never get this far because we're quite a bit ahead of time. So we'll use that. I will develop a few more times then start saving up these ideas. To get it up to 30 development then spend it on a barracks and then start save enough money to turn this into a world trade center if we can get a thousand gold which seems like that would take decades to get up there unless you do missions or certain goals for summoning the diet or sell your damn titles if you're that desperate for cash although that would be selling 10 percent to the crown oh well think about this Even though it's winter right now, but you see the difference with the the way the buildings looked for the underdeveloped and the more developed. Hmm. Yeah. Let's get going then. I'm willing to spend two more if we can get any of these powers up, particularly diplomatic. And a cloth helps it too. Now Croatia has 23% of the trade power as we send our ships out there and a new market town here in Zagreb. Now if we can expand more then even more trade power to Croatia. 
as well as Tega Durazo, which, which that area, in case you didn't remember, another natural harbor. Hang on here. Oh, no, oh, two of them. With the marriage between Kreshmir the Seventh and his wife Elena, the people of Croatia experienced an increased fondness for all things Montenegrin. While some culture exchange was to be expected, particularly concerning the popularity of the Queen, it is with alarm that our administrative advisor, Mose Cantorini, reports that a religious shift has been taking place in one of our provinces. It would seem that the influence of our Montenegrin Queen trickles down to even a, into our subjects' way of worship. His words of the Orthodox believers have converted a surprising amount of people. What the heck? Bielovar's gone Orthodox. Well, we'll get him in our pockets. So. Well, like I say, she must publicly denounce her old faith. Now, meanwhile, the nobility and the businessmen around have decided to reward our good governance of recent years by donating cash to the treasury. Some out of pure patriotism, others they exchange for honorary titles and positions. Put it into the treasury, then. Once we're done converting Branchable, convert Bielovar back to Catholic. We just developed this territory. How dare she? How dare they? Well, meanwhile, we'll be building a courthouse. So, we felt it's about time that... Oh, hang on. Smugglers are running rampant. Lot people are finding lots of ways of getting around paying taxes and fees on moving goods, smuggling them past our authorities through a variety of clandestine channels. This is cutting to our income, but stopping the cost a lot, quite a lot in the short term. Mm. Yikes. But, you know, when we get one of these ideas, we're about to get plus 10 national tax modifier. But the trade efficiency of ours would, uh, it, it's this screen, would be reduced. That's lowering our trade power, but you know what? It is too expensive. I'm going to be saving up money for this. So 10 years, I'll take that hit. Not good for taxation, but you just wait. Things will improve, as it always does. It'll be less than two years. Get to work on that. Seems has very little effect. Peasants upset. With our increasing focus on defense, with the clearing land around our fortifications to dig moats and create clear fields of fire, people are occupying some land have reacted in a most disloyal manner. Oh. Stop drilling. Don't click that event yet. And, you know. on top of it. Wait, just in case. We could take care of the peasant revolt, but um, just hang on. <laughs> I'm sure it'll still occur anyhow. Advancement of the merchant classes. Slow down here. The status of the burghers does not rest on the same old traditions that a nobility, the clergy, 
Instead, they had to make their own fortunes by working diligently and then risking the profit to gain. So again, expand their businesses. As a rule, however, this has gone very well for them lately. While not as prestigious business is in many ways the backbone of our economy, through their control of the coins, the burghers have managed to increase their power over our country. Okay. I'm fine with that. Just waiting for the morale to go up and then let the peasant revolt begin and then we'll put him down. We have the manpower. I'm sure it's going to auto occur just for not clicking. Took a while. On our way. Light casualties. Now head back to Donia Cry and continue drilling. Simple. Now, where were we? 68. Yeah, plan on spending diplomatic power for this. Wish I could spend more from base manpower, but... No, that's what the barracks is going to be for. What's France doing? Not at war. Still waiting for that day to happen. The Ottomans are at war against Kar Kunyulu and Ardabil, assisting an ally. Are you attacking or are you helping out one of the allies? They're helping out one of the allies. More religious disorder over there. But it's all happening far away from here. <laughs> well, so we make very little, but... Um, okay. Get these two up. There. Don't spend it again. Land force limit, not a problem. We'll get even more when we uh, acquire these two countries, which I will start diplomatically annexing them when we fight against Venice. Because I am not confident about um, our army's capability. Force limit's not a problem. It's the manpower maximum that needs to be increased. And here in Zagreb is a good start. And that's the last time, well... It may not be much, but it'll help. Every little bit helps. So now you're saving up those ideas. I can't go to war against Venice without the Ottomans' help. Hmm. Disappointed in you. England? 
tells the discovery of El Dorado. House is decorated with gold. Um, statues covered in precious stones and a lake with its bed covered in gold dust. Gems and other valuables. El Dorado has been found and its wealth is immense. Not only this will bring a great deal of wealth for our, our own country, but also prestige and the admiration of other countries, says England. 800 ducats. Clarkson gets El Dorado till the end. Oh my goodness. Great luck of them. Now France is going to have some serious competition with England. Should they go to war against England? Is France? I'll be very happy to declare war against Venice immediately. Soon after. It would be the only way to get them while they're not looking. Also, I believe it's time. Yeah. Alright. Clergy urges us to build a magnificent house of worship in Belgrade. So that this follows may have an adequate place to congregate in France. And the nobility but seeking new land for their people. They consider Syria to be an ideal place for Croatian settlement. If the locals can be persuaded of the merits of our ways. And the burghers request, request to invest in prosper the city of the Silky. Wow. That's increased development. This is increased development. Increased development manually. While you will get money. Well, the burgers are almost very loyal. Um, where are we? Face protection for. So you need to do this four times with this thing. And you gotta issue an edict to um, get the state of Bosnia to be developed. Might as well. Hmm. Yeah, we'll increase the production here in Bosnia. Also, can I switch? Back? No edict, just to yeah, make it easier for state maintenance. While we put one here. Bringing a total of 51. Even though it's hilly terrain here. But do that two times with the diplomatic power that you have. And then you got it. And then you get your money. Obviously. We did what we can. But please remember, in the future war, it's like, yeah, we know who's going to be there, but... The Ottomans are fighting another war, which we can't ask them right now, but when they're not, then they'll be happy to join us. Yeah, they can now. Because they have the manpower to do so. And uh, Milano will be there too, but... It's pretty precarious, but... Poland would be a deciding factor in this. That's a big if. But they lack manpower, which... I'm sure they'll get it up in time. What have you been doing up there? They're willing to trust somewhat, but... Uh, they'll come along. This is the moment we've been waiting for. And France is going to be there too, but... I don't know. This is rather very... Woo! And, you know, Naples and the Knights will be there, so... Just as when we were beginning to settle down and develop and everything and all that, but... Hope we can get Dorazo f f for us. Because we have territorial claims here. 
and Istria too. It'll be easy to take out Naples, um, at least on the Ottomans' part. And I'm sure the allies of yours will probably help you out on this. But should I or should I not? I mean, you should because you want to maintain your alliance and you get this many favors and use the whatever favors that you gain. The sad part of this is Poland isn't going to help because this isn't my war. Yeah. Very well then. Order the ships to return to Dubrovnik as soon as possible. Get the galleys deployed. French ships are already there. Serbian and Montenegrin ships will provide limited support, but... What have we got ourselves into? Get the hell out of there. We will have to get to Durazo as quickly as possible. Oh, oh dear. The initial hostilities in this. And the French fleet is out there too. Oh, we'll try to get our ships all together. Because we don't want to get them caught here. And wait for the Ottoman fleet to arrive. And then we'll get into action. force them in here. But I fear the French army. Unless somebody has the gumption to declare war against France for whatever reason. But hey, at least that improves our relations. Mercenaries if needed. Because we are technically part of the Venice trade now, which is Italy. Sunk them all. Yeah, we're badly outnumbered by French armies. And your other allies aren't coming? What are you doing? This is madness. Oh, hell. I'm making a sweep, but I ain't going out of the port. I ain't coming out of there with, with their presence here. Do what we can to occupy here, because that's our objective. And your objective is already there. Leaving Croatia defenseless. They're going to make their line of the roads just to get them out of the war. Venetian army over here. They'll soon be coming for us. But we have a better general than than theirs. 
and whereas we've had a lot of time drilling. I mean, we have the manpower now. All you need to do is just support us. Stick with us, uh, Serbian Montenegrin troops. Taking this area would be a good objective, but but for the Ottomans, does that mean that they're not going to expand because we personally occupy it? Unless they get it back somehow? Should we risk our homeland for uh, to get this and then head back and all that? You know what? Yeah. Willing to risk it. And I'm not sending my navy out in action unless we guaranteed safety by the Ottoman fleet out there. I got some. Okay, privilege is gone. Because there's no, um, you know, that out there. Fair enough. It's back to being covered now. Let's just hope there's no French army in Croatia. Otherwise we'll be in deep, deep, deep trouble. Oh no, you already beat me to it. Well, we'll help you out. A loan offer from Cologne. Sure. Let's take the main objective and then we'll get moving. Hope that we don't get trapped here. Agricultural revolution. Go save the homeland. Managed to increase our agriculture production in 3M by employing new farming techniques and plantations, irrigation and land properties organizations, and thereby bringing higher tax income to our state. Invest in a bigger army. You got your objective, but please give us the Razo in one of the peace terms. Another loan offer? What the heck? Take it. But don't spend it on anything because we're at war here. The Admiral's died. Well, the, well, the fleet will be inactive until the armament fleet can do something about it. You have lots of ships. What are you doing over there? But the Ottoman land armies will soon be on their way, but if we don't beat back the Venetian for forces, um... In fact, that's their entire army. Now the real question is, who's more drilled? They got the Prussian army and a few mercenaries. But beware, mercenary discipline Maybe we should use that money to get our own free company. Look here. Should do that to bolster our forces. But there are many alternatives. Infantry combat ability and everything. We don't know for certain. But the Serbs and Montenegrins will be with us. Six thousand of the Serbian army will be assisting us. And then four thousand more from Montenegro. And um 
we may get a river crossing penalty, which, oh, damn it, I did not realize there's a river there. The Naretva. I remember my geography. There's the Army Royale. No leader yet. But they are an army of infinite, is the French army. We have a better general than they do. See how this goes. Because the morale isn't there for them. Because they were in the middle of a siege. Montenegrins are with us now. We got them. That's what happened. One group retreat and then... Others kind of followed suit a little. They were fighting half-heartedly. Now try not to get overconfident when you deal with the Army Royale of the French. Don't know what our what is the French ideas are like? Quantity. No, yeah, the French has a big national power modifier. Oh, morale of armies. Oh, they'll kick our ass. We had no quarrel with the French, and yet they are coming. You got the main objective. Right. Soon the knights will be out of the war, even though they could contribute very little in actuality, but we are for some deep sh for this. So we beat back the only army that Venice has. And soon they'll be out of manpower to reinforce, which will make things easier. Quite honestly, I should be the one to declare that war. Bringing Poland over would be a huge help to us, but no, this is a real test for Croatia of can we stand up ourselves with the newfound strength that we have, as well as all the regiments that we've been drilling for many, many years. They got a two-star general as the French. Oh, the, all the French are there. They're going to be regrouping with the Venetian troops. The Ottomans better hurry up and deal with the knights. There is no way we can defend Croatia with that kind of strength that they have. You've committed all those forces there. Even though where's the rest of them? Over there. One's on standby. The other is moving that way. Yeah, we're going to have a bit of a hard time here. I'll be sure to remind myself that when our economy improves big time, I'll be sure to build a fort somewhere in Bosnia-Herzegovina, particularly in a, one of the mountainous areas that we can definitely, you know, like when they try to take it, and then when we come in, we can get them out of there very easily, because it's our terrain. Ah, peasant revolt, that's why some of the French are pulling back. Some, not all. Key word. Take Istria, another area that we have a claim to. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. The monarch died too soon. He was one of the good lads. Well, he's soon to be ready. He's 14. The queen regent is a sinner. Don't do that. This is no time for this. Terrible timing. Thank you. Because disconnected. Taking Corfu would definitely help him out. But they'll get roads soon. You know the Navy just left them. What are you doing over there? It's your war. You're the one that started it. And you brought the French over to us. You crazy. Crazy people. There's the, uh... What do you call those? Nationally wise? Neapolitan. Neapolitan army. Smaller, but easier to take on. We dare them to come over here. Doing. Oh yeah, we gave you access some time ago. You know what I mean? Not through Bielovar. Oh yes, the royal marriage office. So. Regency ends in a few months. You'll have our answer by then. And the Bosnia. Catch up. Feed the Neapolitan army. Kill them all. Goal oriented. Movement speed faster. Definitely needed. Well, despite the uh, against all odds that we're facing, but we're doing well for here. Based on the circumstances, but very soon the knights will be out of the war. You know, it makes a little difference. In all honesty. Just when I was getting ready to develop us. Yeah. But we got a war to win. And defend Zagreb against all odds. That is the king himself. 37. Kerzan Gilsh are well connected. If he gets killed in battle, then this man takes over, but that lowers their stability. And many more will be coming. Which wouldn't bode well. Position yourselves and doing a cry. The, our efforts to maximize trade and profits in the area of Croatia born fruit in the province of Rijeka. Entrepreneurs have managed to greatly increase sales, but the draperies have also found new markets in our kelp process goods. Here's your development increase. In Rijeka. Not as good without that administrative tech, so that's a bit problematic. And we'll find out that personality soon enough. 
Far Cry Dimitria Zvonimir. You ask for a real marriage? You got it. Well, when it comes back here, improve, I mean, royal marriage of either Serbia or Montenegro, or both, it doesn't matter. It's easy to have royal marriages now, especially for a young man of his age. Army de Asta. Did, did he transfer to another army? Don't get too cocky because the French will fight hard. Because remember, morale of armies plus 20 compared to, you know, Croatia with, um, with the defensive ideas. 15. It's the matter of skill than just fighting spirit. Oh, there. I see where this is going. This can't be good. No, no, no. Turn around. Move away from there. They're gonna devastate us. Just what we were looking for. I wish Poland was with us. I wish I was the one that declared that war. But what can you do? Just be on standby. Wait for what happens. Status quo, they're just hanging on. Herald for France, they tell us of Reformation branches on. Bronze the Reformation spreading like wildfire across here. Several different movements have already formed, proposing alternate ways of reforming the Christian faith. A devout preacher in Paris has become a principal figure of the so-called for the so-called reformed school of thought, stressing the complete ruin of humanity's um, ethical nature. Only with the divine intervention of God can humanity find salvation, turning from rebellion to willing obedience. Now there's reformed. There's religiously on the area. Now the real question is, are you reformed? No. Where the hell are you going? The real question is, what the hell are you all doing? We can't win this war alone. Especially with their constant presence over here. here. Defeat Army Royale here. They won't get there in time. They're turning back. Great presence war in Brandenburg. Peasantry is rising up in revolt against their lawful masters, demanding that end to serve them and form protections for their rights. This is no localized rebellion. Seeds of dissent have 
spread far across the empire and often planted by dangerous heretics. All the princes of Germany must look to their defenses and prepare for war against the very people they once ruled. They are... It makes me think I'm glad not to join the HRE. Croatian bravery versus French tenacity. Because they're high morale. Get out of my motherland. So yeah, you beat back one French army, but there are many more you must face. Oh, this is for the right timing because of an ongoing siege uh, grab. Uh, defensive mentality we gotta have. <laughs> there are those who think that attack is the best form of defense. But that is foolish to let them come to us and then hit them on the counter. Our troops will defend them. Nicely, and our forces will hold out for longer. Reduced fort maintenance, which is good for the economy, but much more higher fort defense, just to hold them out a bit longer. And subsequently, the granary of Croatia. Slavonia, also known as the granary of Croatia, is the most fertile agricultural region of our lands. It is located between the Sava on the south and the Drava and the Danube rivers on the north and east. We must ensure that we make all this use of this region the prosperity of our people. That's why we developed the area. Here's a boost for our economy. Now if we can only get these two, especially land attrition and attrition against the enemies. So they'll think twice about attacking Croatia. As I said, wish we had a fort in Bosnia. It'll be easier to defend here. <laughs> we just have to attack when the time is right. Guerrilla warfare. That's the kind of defensive procedure that uh, Croatia should be doing. Some of it, some of you people who, uh, by people I mean, Croatian, Bosnian, Serbian, anybody that lives in the former Yugoslav thinks, thinking that. We're going to do things just like the Partisans. <laughs> Partizani. Yeah, as you would say. Alright, knights are occupied and we just got to hold out. That's all we got to do. Hold out until Ottoman reinforcements arrive to either beat back the army or defeat Naples since we annihilated the one army. Which takes a while to get their manpower reserves up. The navy's got to contribute um, unless we join up. That's another hard task to do. And um, subsequently um, take the war to them. And until the French keeps, um, I don't know, until their war through them gets lowered, then maybe the Ottomans can get France to white peace out. If, it's, if the French are defeated, Venice is defeated. If the Ottomans don't give us Dorazo, that's fine. Because we'll still have the Bulgarian plan in mind. In future. Just keep the French and the Venetians separated. Of course we'll have that river crossing penalty. All counties that they're bordered with. Except for Pondrinia. Except for Pondrinia. Not on by river. Maybe they're heading for Dubrovnik, which it would be disastrous. Austria is fighting against Hungary again. This time it's for conquest, not restoration of the Union. That's why they were on the move. It's 
17. We're going to catch one of their companies. But they're splitting their forces up. The knights are out. We get a few ducats and a few prestige. The French uh, walked away again and now they're heading back. this terrain there in our mountains this not of with this okay it's dice roll for the attackers that they're sitting on top but they are small in number Beznik Srinsky we'll get them off our mountains they're on a run Killed them all. Now they're in full retreat and the French is going to have to follow them. Take Bosna back. See, that's what we have to do. Real warfare. And Bosnia is the best place to defend a conduct grill operation. So, post-war and with the newfound, you know... Reduced fort maintenance. Um, maybe we should build one either in Hum or Herzegovina. Visoki's got hills, but it's much better defended if it's mountains. But I would say here would be the most likely place to defend it. If, when we build a fort here, even though there's already one here in Split, but it's grasslands. What is the general's name again? Um, Tomislav Kuryakovic. Kuryakovic. Yeah. Remember that man's name. <laughs> He's a hero of the Croatia. Defeating French and Venetian armies and Neapolitan armies too. That were willing to spill a lot of our own blood just to defend our homeland. And here comes Army Royale again. Let him come. It seems now they're heading towards Ottoman territory. And we will finally receive reinforcements from the Ottoman Empire after we carried out a guerrilla campaign during the first year of the war, first full year into such. War enthusiasm is medium because we've been defeating them and they're running out of manpower and killed off their mercenaries. But hey, don't forget the Serbians and Montenegrins who contributed too. And when we are a united, strong country, we can definitely hold our own. And anytime they step foot in Croatian soil in future when it's fully implemented, they'll regret coming here. And one more thing. The decisions and policies. If you complete both humanist and defensive ideas land attrition would be reduced for, for us and less monthly war exhaustion just to keep us going because you know it's starting to get up there with us and sooner or later we gotta deal with orthodox zealots if need be Guess you're scared to take on the Neapolitan Navy. Yeah, so are we. Because of them over there. So. Mm -hmm. The best army, the first army. Why are you still there? We've been fighting nearly all of our own. <sighs> Should we attack the French? Army Baraya, because they are getting separated. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're getting quite separated. Heading to Viden. Got to do. They they're continuing their direction. Yeah, they keep on going. We'll catch them. What's this area? Grasslands. Come on, catch up, Serbian Serbs and Montenegrins. Catch up. You know our general Tomislav. He's uh, or General Kudjakovic. He moves a lot faster than the rest of you. They have the numbers, but he's got the skills. <laughs> if only we had gunpowder weaponry. That fire would do was very good. Now they're turning around. And the Kolobara. Don't worry about them. Now they're turning around now. We got them. Killed, all, killed off the entire army morale here. Little casualties. How you feeling? Of course. It's only the naval battles that were lost, but on land we have won every single one of them. But we still got plenty to go. Henry. No, that's just another general of theirs. It's Venice you have to deal. What the hell are you doing? Oh, it's inevitable. So you got 12 light ships, 2 galleys, and 18 transports. Venice has 1 heavy ship, 1 light ship, 17 galleys. In addition of 1 more light ship and 1 more galley. Will there be more reinforcements? What are you doing? Hmm. You know, with them out there. Like, while they will keep busy, we'll pick off a few there. That's their entire navy. Their best. Yeah, just pick off a few. Get them off that blockade. To help with the economy a bit because those blockades aren't doing us any favors. Even though you ain't got no admiral, you better get one. It's quite a name. Shock. That's just for shock. Anyways, set sail. <laughs> Don't go to war without no admiral. Inland sea for both. While we be dealing with some of them there. While they'll be kept busy. Or should we go after the last French army? Even though we'll take heavier casualties. Because they're high morale. Or defend Croatia. Where you go? I think you got the skills to take them on. And plus we have further increased defense, so... Attack. Meanwhile... Caught them. Our admiral was level-headed. Morale hit when losing a ship of uh, reduction. So, in other words, uh, he's not the best general that the Croatian Navy's got, but he'll do. 
We only sunk one ship, and that's when the battle was decided. Shall we join? It's gonna take us a while to get there. We'll be there on the first. So we'll see if we could save the Ottoman Navy in case they get a dice roll on them. That wouldn't do them any favors. Because the Ottomans have more transport ships than... And they got way more galleys, so... We have some light ships and not all galleys. I don't know about this, but... Why aren't you sending them out there? That's the real question. Took out another ship. That was a galley. That was from Naples. I don't see any other enemy ships out there. We'll continue to march this way. If the battle was lost, return to Dubrovnik. Check the status. These Turkish sounding names, these are their ships. Venetian ships. They got very high morale. That can't be good. I don't think we should engage him. Head to Dubrovnik. We just want to pick off a few ships. Yeah, they had to get out of there. Well, we will fix a few holes in these ships. And we have... Huh, should invest in galleys when we acquire Montenegro, Serbia, and then later Albania too. There's so many rivers in these areas. Yeah, they're all bordered by him. It flows through all these provinces. But just hurt a few of them. This has hills. But the Ottoman army will be coming to assist soon. Doesn't matter if we're catching them now. Because you know our general moves fast. Here's the Ottomans. Took a bit more casualties than usual, but... Uh, starting to exhaust ourselves, so we must return to Croatia. Head to Bosna. There's the galleys. Heading to the Adriatic. Since you're heading to Adriatic, be there on the 9th. We need to catch them so the Ottomans can move up. Yes, all the ships good enough. We had enough time to fix a few holes and then they're good to go. Send them out, and the Yons will come in with their galleys and their one heavy ship to finish off the rest. Even though they got a pretty skilled admiral with his galleys. But the Ottoman galleys outnumber theirs. Single ship action. That Ottoman flagship versus a, a light ship. A flagship with no admiral. That can't be good, heading this way. That's gonna hurt the pride of the uh, Ottoman Navy. I would say. Movement locked. We're gonna make sure they don't get away. It's a risk I'm willing to take.
They're disengaged. We got one of them. Ships with us, and then you see the names of the Ottoman ships that will be willing to assist us now. I'm the leader of this operation. I'm level headed too. Who captured the ship? Um, based on those numbers, I don't think it was us. I think the Ottomans got one. None of the uh, Venetian sounding names of the ships. So. so the Ottomans gained one and sunk the rest. That got him. The flagship got away. But he took a bit of a beating. Head to Dubrovnik. We should set up that naval doctrine. Now that you're out there. She didn't be. Free oarsman. Well, we are a merchant navy, mainly, but it's gonna cost you. If you pick a naval doctrine, it's gonna cost you money. So. No, no naval doctrine. We're just support. That's our main role. The Croatian Navy is for support. It's the army that will do the fighting. Oh, I know where they're going. They're going to split. Don't let these bastards leave. Don't let them regroup. The French cannot get through Zagreb, even though they got a very good one. Which requires most of our might to take them on. And the assist of an Ottoman army. First army's on the move, so we have to hold out again. Back to guerrilla warfare. Yeah, French can't get through Zagreb to help out the Venetians. They would have to go the long way to get there. And we were nearly... Well, not quite fully reinforced yet, but you get the idea. Not fully repaired yet, but once they do, we'll be back in action to take out the rest. Because it's going to take a long time for them to rebuild their navy. As long as they're posted here. Yeah, one army backed off before the battle was even won. We're killing ourselves out here. We made a lot of noble sacrifices. Just hold here. Wait for further reinforcement. A gift from Burgundy. Thank you. Not a French army. But again, can't get through there with the zone of control to save their other to save the other ones. Our war enthusiasm is medium because it's getting to us a little bit. Just a little bit. Look, you got your objective. I got the one that I want to claim to and you better give it to me. Until their war enthusiasm is low for Venice. <laughs> and I don't know how long we're going to keep up with this. Because they are infinite in number. We are not. Here's the route we'll go.
another loan offer. Just keep things going. Status quo. Real question is, will they help out? What's England doing over there? Oh, yeah. Ally of Austria. I tend to forget. Taking care of a Franco Neapolitan army there. Or we will continue to kill ourselves out there, if we choose to. Oh, this is a bad idea. But this is our territory. So hold them off here. I don't think uh, Heroic is gonna beat them this time. Because. Here's the difference. Five, two, three, two. Uh, King, one. He's got a lot of maneuver. You know, we have the numbers, but he's got the morale. But can we hold on? Is another question. Slow down here because the morale is pretty close. Current morale is 0 0.82. R0.81, oh my. The morale here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the current value of military tactics is similar. We have slightly more cavalry. Discipline is similar. But. It's dice rolls, let's be factor. Got a good one out of him. We got him, we got him. Oh, he's got one on me. Possible enemy reinforcements. Heading this way. Oh, he got a very good dice roll on me, but he's almost out. 0.4, 1.23. Zivio Havatska. <laughs> Barazda in the place of heroes, apparently. That really killed the heck out of us, so there's no way we'll fully reinforce at this point. But we beat the King of France of his army. <laughs> we can't fight anymore. Oh, well, that's a heck of a lot of prestige. Head to Bosna. Stay there. But remember, we can't take back the French forever and ever. They got infinite manpower. In fact, they keep getting more and more. The only thing we need now is Ottoman reinforcements. And a few more surprises. In fact, they are well on their way here now. They're fully committed now. And we'll just get them out of our way as we return to Bosnia. And we're actually gonna end this episode on this note. Yeah, we're out of manpower, but <laughs> now the question is, um, how long will Croatia hold until Ottoman reinforcements arrive to take the front to the Venetians and how many of the French that are still out there that the Ottomans can defeat. Again, they're the ones with the quality idea. You tell me. So we will end the episode on that note. So we see you on the next one for the conclusion of this conflict. And will Croatia have Dorazo for the eventual creation of Albania um, as a subject that will eventually join Croatia and subsequently Serbia Montenegro joins Bulgaria becomes subject and then get the rest of Bulgaria by using these favors out of the Ottomans 
All that and more for Croatia. But until then, so long for now.